If you are able, please stand for the bride. You may be seated. Welcome, friends and family. It is so incredibly good to be together. And may I ask to remind you to please turn off your phones at this moment. And let us begin. We are gathered here in the spirit of love to witness the public statement of Benjamin and Kathy's commitment to one another. Some of you have traveled great distances to be here to support Kathy and Benjamin and their important milestone. It is appropriate that you be here on this special day for what each of them brings to this marriage has its roots in the love and friendship you have given them. May that affection continue to sustain and support them in this newly begun future. Mason, would you please give Max the rings? Please be seated. Okay. In considering the important elements of a healthy and loving relationship, we draw wisdom from the words of a poet, Whitney Hansen. They say that sometimes love starts with a spark, and that might be true. I suspect it was with you. But if I were to wish you love, I wouldn't wish fire for you. You see, fire is powerful. It burns bright, and then it's gone. It's beautiful and warm, but it doesn't last. So instead of wishing you a love that burns, I wish you a love like a river that twists and turns, it changes and flows, it is powerful and free, but it consistently finds its way back to the sea. And so like water, I hope your love is ever growing, ever changing. I hope your love is powerful and free and may you always find each other like the river finds the sea. Benjamin and Kathy, you have invited us to witness the happiness which you have found with each other. Are you now prepared to take your vows? Yes. yes. Good. <laughs> this we know, none of us created ourselves. Each one of us here today has reason to think with deep gratitude of those who have come before us. 
as Benjamin and Kathy prepare to take their vows, they ask that now we pause to take a moment of silence to honor our ancestors who made it possible for us to be here in this moment at this joyous time and to honor the memory of those we love so dearly who are gone from our sight but who remain forever in our hearts and memories. We give thanks. Kathy and Benjamin have prepared their own vows, and I will give Benjamin his. <laughs> Kathy, you are the love of my life. I remember feeling something special on our first date. I felt I was connecting with a kindred soul. Since those early days, I've confirmed that initial feeling thousands of times. I love that you find such joy in good food, music, traveling, adventure, and most importantly, you clearly communicate how you feel. Over the last seven years, our relationship has been stress tested through living on the East Coast, navigating a pandemic, and balancing the responsibilities of our lives. Through it all, you have been there for me, and there is no one I would rather spend my life with. I know after hard days, I can rely on your roguishly wonderful humor to help me put things in perspective and stay humble. I look forward to a life of your impromptu stand-up comedy hours and song pa parody collaborations. I love that you accept me for who I am. With your help, I've honed my ability to cope with stress, overcome challenges, and to remember to take a step back and enjoy each stage of life. I vow to cherish your trust, perspective, awareness, and openness I vow to continue to work together on our long-term goals while also celebrating the little victories in life. I know that whatever challenges the universe throws at us, we can overcome them together. I vow to value you as my partner, to listen to your needs, to treat you as my equal, to savor the time we are granted together, and to love you for the rest of my days. Benjamin, I truly believe that we were always meant to come together. Whether it was through our many misconnections in Santa Barbara or 16-year-old us of passing by each other in a band competition, the world had a magnetic force that eventually brought me to you. You have been with me through so many phases of my life. You make me want to be the best version of myself. Before you, I was scared to be in the ocean because of its unknown. You taught me how to swim and with that showed me the beauty of seeing wild marine life for the first time. After we got engaged, you and I held hands and jumped off a rock into the Mediterranean Sea. In many ways, I found these experiences to be a metaphorical for our next chapter of life. Although there is so much unknown in this world, one thing I know for sure is that I love you. There is so much about you that I love. I love how you see the world, how you always see the good in everyone. I love that whenever someone is in need, you are the first to step up. I love your many impersonations and how you always know how to make me laugh. Thank you for everything that you do, from making me coffee every morning to learning Vietnamese just to be able to ask my parents how they're doing. So many times you have brought me to know that you are the love of my life. In our marriage, I promise to you some simple truths. I vow to support you in your career and be alongside you wherever it takes us, because starting today and for the rest of our lives, we are family. I vow to always listen with both ears and to speak with you with kindness and respect as you always do for me. Finally, I vow to be your partner, friend, and wife, one who will encourage you and who will continue to love you for the rest of our days. I love you, and I'm so honored that you chose me and that we chose us. <laughs> Please take each other's hands. 
and repeat after me, but look at each other. Benjamin? Kathy. Kathy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, please repeat after me. <laughs> this is a different role than I've ever done. <clears throat> Do you take Benjamin to be your husband? in times of joy and in times of hardship. I do. And Benjamin, do you take Kathy to be your wife in times of joy and in times of hardship? I do. Max, may I have the rings, please? Let these rings encircle your fingers as your love does for each other. Benjamin, please take Kathy's ring. And as you place it on her finger, please repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. And look in her eyes. With this <laughs> ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And with it. And with it. I pledge my honor. Pledge my honor, my love, my love, and my friendship, and my friendship. Please take Benjamin's and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, and with it I pledge, and with it I pledge, my love, my love, my honor, my honor, and my friendship. <laughs> Let us into, enter into a spirit of prayer and meditation as we bless their marriage. May your lives and hands be blessed. Into your hands, Benjamin and Kathy, you place your life together with love, trust, human imperfection, hope, and much joy. These are hands of your partner, young and strong and full of love. These are hands that will work alongside yours. They will hold you and your family as one. They will wipe tears of joy and sorrow from your eyes. They are hands that will give you strength and courage. And these are hands that will still be reaching for yours, even when wrinkled and aged in unspoken times of tenderness. Hand in hand and heart with heart, may you go forth on your journey together in such confidence and trust that no suffering or sorrow or loss can ever blight the deeper joy of your loving relationship. So may it be. Because you have set yourselves on this road and have chosen to walk it, you have made a marriage. You have married each other, pledging yourselves to each other in the presence of family and friends and those who have come before us. I do now, by virtue of the authority granted to me by the Unitarian Universalist Church, pronounce you husband and wife. You may now seal your vows with a kiss. May your life together be richly blessed because of the love you have for each other and the good wishes that all of us bestow upon you. May the bonds that unite you ever be strengthened. May you meet with courage the troubles that beset you. May you rejoice in the gifts of life that come your way. May your marriage be one of ever-growing depth 
meaning graciousness because of the sympathy, understanding, and love which you give to one another in the life that you now share. Go now in peace, and may love be with you all of your life. Amen.